certainly not your typical police cruiser. It's a little bigger, it's a little wider, perhaps a little strange, in fact, to even see it here in the Treasure Valley. But as Eric Fink reports, police say their newest piece of equipment from the war zone is a valuable tool for a city of any size. Meet the Nampa PD's newest partner. So we have needs for this type of vehicle all the time. It looks like a tank and has war experience. This is an armored rescue vehicle recently gifted to the Napa cop shop by the U.S. military. The vehicle itself was designed to take on mines and um, sniper fire in Afghanistan. But why deploy this monster in a city of less than 100,000 people where a terrorist attack is of little concern? Well, Randall says here in Idaho, everybody has a gun. We, on a daily basis, go to calls that involve firearms. It's just, it's just a fact of the things that we deal with. And this gives us some bit of protection when we have those type of calls. An example of when this ARV just may be used. A suspect barricades himself with a gun in a home. The police not only have to get to that home, but they have to get to that suspect. They say something like this gives them access to both. Across the Treasure Valley, Boise got the same gift. According to the Napa police chief, these types of vehicles cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Napa only spent a little more than a thousand to transport it here from neighboring Washington. It's an opportunity to take a vehicle which would have been mothballed, turn a half million dollar asset into something that has the potential to save lives here in the city of Boise. It's the same reason that every day for the 22 years I've been a police officer, I've worn a sidearm. I've never had to use that sidearm in the line of duty outside of training, but if I do need it to save a life, I have it. And the Preston Police Department in eastern Idaho also got a military vehicle. The Nampa ARV has only 4,000 miles. Boise's under 6,000. Chief, Chief Kingsbury says he hopes his guys won't have to use that vehicle at all, but he's thankful it's now home in his department should an incident require this tool. Eric Fink, today's six on your side. If you're watching us on Cable One right now, there are a few other channels that you're not going to be seeing for a while. CNN, HLN, the Cartoon Network are just a few of the latest cable casualties. Cable One says Turner Broadcasting is demanding too much money for the channels with steadily declining viewership. It's unclear how long it could take for the companies to reach a deal. Coming up next, solving problems and answering.